So let's add another fun little twist. Uh, we just got one example, and that's all this video is going to be. So example four now, because I'm remembering to update. Example four, find the volume when R is revolved around the y-axis. So again, disk or washer method would have to be in terms of y. Shell method, we're going to set this up in terms of x. Disk is the same as this region. Shell is opposite. All right. So again, what we have here, let's look at, uh, we've got another square root of x function. That'll be square root of x. We've got uh, g, which is 1 over x, the reciprocal function. And we're looking at the region from 1 up to 4. This is our r, our r. OK, find this, and oh, revolving it about the y-axis, like so. So now there are two functions. So remember our old shell used to be like this. And then we'd, oh, take the shell like that and calculate the shell this way. Well, what changes? The height of the shell is all that changes. So now our rectangles look like this. And our shell looks like that. And again, this is only half a shell in the drawing. Just easier to draw half a shell than a full shell. It's not even half a shell. Now it's like half a shell. We want to go all the way around. This is what's happening here. Well, the only difference is the height changes. Radius is still the same. The radius is just 2 pi times the x-coordinate. As a side note, you could combine both of these videos, 4 and video 5 and change the height and change the radius. Like we could revolve, you know, I'll do that afterwards. The only difference is the height now. The height is just going to be f minus g. So again, very similar integral from before. 2 pi, x is going from 1 to 4. The uh, radius is 2 pi x. We can factor out the 2 pi. And the height is just f of x minus g of x. Plug in, you can solve no problem. I'll do this really quickly, but that's the whole video here, really. I'll talk a little bit more about some other stuff. f is the square root of x. g is 1 over x. Distribute, use the power rule. Hope I'm boring you x to the 3 halves when we distribute, minus 1. Power rule, so on, so on, so on. I'm not even going to finish it. We've done this enough by now. And again, if we, wanted to, if we wanted to do something very similar, but what if we wanted to, yeah, this is example 4 plus, whatever. Instead, uh, let's use the same functions. You know, 1 over x. And uh, this guy, square root of x, same region from 1 to 4. But now what if we wanted to rotate around the line x equals 0. 0.5, negative 0. 0.5? Well, it's going to be very, very similar. You just look at your shell. The height is f minus g. But now the radius is one half bigger because we're rotating around this other guy. So you'll get your volume is 2 pi times the integral. X is still going from 1 to 4. The radius is no longer x anymore. It's x plus an extra half. And the height is no longer f. The height is the difference between the square root of x and 1 over x. So you can really add as many layers to this as you want. And this is going to be annoying to solve or to evaluate, you're going to have to foil this and then use the power rule, but not that bad. 
All right, and that's just another way to set up these integrals. This whole section is really about setting up the integrals because chapter one is where we learned about evaluating the integrals. But hopefully that should be getting more practice and more comfortable. And now we can spend most of this chapter two on just setting up the integrals. Let me know if you have questions. You can check your answer with Desmos like I always do. And uh, best of luck.